Stagecoach War was an entertaining Hopalong Cassidy film from 1940, and while it had plenty of good and fun Western elements, it was sort of all over the place with the story. But hey, it's still a lot of fun. So it stars Hopalong Cassidy, played by William Boyd, and his friends Lucky, played by Russell Hayden, and his other friends Speedy, played by Britt Wood. So we've got Hoppy, Lucky, and Speedy. And they've just finished a horse drive from the Bar 20 Ranch when Hoppy hears some shots fired. So Hoppy and Lucky go to investigate, and they find an abandoned stagecoach, which has this old guy who's been injured, and his wagon was robbed of gold bullion. So they tend him to health, patch up the stagecoach, and ride back into town. And then we cut over to an unusual thing. It's a bunch of singing cowboys who are tending their horses and singing. These guys are apparently the main nemesis of the film, however. They are a band of cowboys that rob stage coaches and sing. And they sound great, by the way, but the entire concept just seemed a little bit silly. But yeah, it's a Western from the 40s, so. And the group of singing guys is led by the character Rad Robinson. And that's the actor. He plays Smiley. And he sort of resembles a doughy Ed Helms. But he's kind of the leader of this group of singing bad guys. It rains or shines in fair or stormy weather, it's on we go. With songs upon our lips, laughing, chaffing, so go west, my son, and break the train. So Lucky brings the old injured guy back home to his young and beautiful daughter, who is played by Julie Carter, plays the character Shirley. And she brings Lucky some cake and milk. And Lucky, of course, falls head over heels in love with her. But she doesn't really seem all that interested in return. Uh, We'll get into that in just a second. So Hoppy, meanwhile, goes into town to talk to some of the locals. And, you know, take some time to to defend the merit of Mustang horses. Let me tell you something, Mr. Gunther. Without the help of the Mustang, this country would still be a wilderness. The rancher had never had a chance to raise and protect his stock. And when it comes to trouble and danger, the Mustang will face the problem with just as much courage and probably more brains than his master. So the character Neil Holt is played by Harvey Stevens. He's the local jerk who wants to take over the stagecoach delivery service. And he's, we see he's kind of a mean person. He beats up one of his horse hands. And Hoppy shows up at the house of the old guy from earlier and meets with Lucky. And he gives this little speech about, you know, how horses and men, and that's the backbone of the frontier, and all that stuff. And they're determined that something fishy is going on with these stagecoach robberies, and they're going to keep investigating in town. And this is where Hopalong Cassidy meets up with this Neil Holt character at a bar. And, well, it's a bar, but, you know, Hopalong, he's just going to have himself a sarsaparilla to drink. And anyhow, he finds out in talking to this Holt character that he wants to take over the Wells Fargo business. And during the course of their banter, they wind up agreeing to do a stagecoach race with everyone wagering on the winner. I'll leave the review at this point because, you know, you need to see how it wraps up. And even though there is a little more action after the big and anticlimactic stagecoach race, it just seems confusing trying to summarize the events of the film. And, you know, I get it. It's just an old fun western. Don't read into it too much. But there's just like weird little details in this film. Like, why did this Shirley character hide in the stagecoach during the race? They never quite explain that. But, you know, it's Hopalong Cassidy, so everything's fine and everything will work out in the end. So just closing thoughts, many of these Hopalong Cassidy films are currently on YouTube. But as I said in one of the earlier reviews, I'm I'm really not clear if these are in the public domain or not. So I will reluctantly say that you can check them out on YouTube for now, but they might get scrubbed away at some point. And for the meantime, I've been really enjoying these. I think I made a note that there's about 66 of these films. I don't know if I'm going to get through all of them, but I'm going to try. And... One other note, uh, one of the side characters in this film, Frank Lactine, he was one of the bad guy henchmen 
I don't think he did any singing, but he was pretty cool. I just like when I see a villain who has very distinctive features, and this guy was cool. I love kind of tracking down characters like that and seeing him in other films as well. And the rest of the film, I'll just say, if you're intrigued by the gimmick of singing bandits and stagecoach racing, well, you might enjoy this. But just be expecting the story is a little muddled, but it's Hopalong Cassidy, it's a lot of fun. And if you get into singing cowboys, then hey, you'll have a great time with this one. So go check it out. Hit by a chaparral clump, waiting for the Fargo mail. Bent on taking some eastern chump, loaded to the gills with kale.